how does an airplane's autopilot actually work? It's split into two systems, the brains and the muscles. The brains consist of an avionics unit and an autopilot computer slash controller, which use airspeed, altitude, and heading in order to put inputs towards your servos. The servos are the muscle of your operation. They consist of two little electric motors, which are in line with your flight control cables, and they actually push and pull on those cables in order to move the controls. Whatever the autopilot controller tells them to do, they do. So how do we use it? It's all through this little panel right here. It's split up into your left and right modes or lateral modes, and then your up and down modes or vertical modes. This section in the middle here is how you activate and deactivate the entire autopilot and how you turn on your flight director, which is just a little purple bar that shows you where the autopilot wants to put your nose. So if we want to climb today, we must first select an altitude by using our altitude select control knob. But now the computer only knows where we want to go, but it doesn't know how to get there. That's when we have to select one of our climbing modes, which tells our computer how to get to that altitude. There's pitch mode, which directly allows you to control where you want the nose to be during the climb using the scroll wheel. There's versus mode, which allows you to select how many feet per minute you want your airplane to climb at. And then there's indicated airspeed mode or flight level change mode, which allows you to choose what airspeed you want your airplane to be climbing at. Then there's three ways to control left and right. There's heading mode, which allows us to select what magnetic heading our nose is going to be turned to. Then there's track mode, which allows us to select what path we're going to be flying over the ground. The reason there's a separate heading and track mode is because if you select a certain heading, it's going to put the nose of your aircraft on one magnetic heading. So if there's any wind pushing you from the side here, your nose is going to stay on this one heading, but you're going to get blown off of your track by the wind. Track mode allows us to fly directly over the path that we want on the ground. It does this by compensating for the wind by turning the nose into the wind instead of letting our nose point one direction and get pushed off course. And lastly, there's navigation mode, which allows our airplane to fly a predetermined GPS flight plan all all on its own. In this airplane, you have your autopilot status bar on the top of the PFD, which shows your lateral mode and vertical mode, as well as how it's going to get to that vertical mode. And then if you don't see an autopilot on this side, no question about it, your autopilot is off. So you come down here, press autopilot on, and now you see that green autopilot on, your autopilot is moving. And now you know how to properly use an autopilot.